Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is a dreary and chilly Monday morning, and I am on my way to the eye doctor. I need to get my yearly exam. This year, I have decided that I am going to get contact lenses. Now, I tried this last year. It didn't work out. It didn't work out because although this woman is a specialist in that, and she said the reason that the contacts that you got before don't work well for you is because they're not the right lenses for you and they should have checked that but she gave me a pair to try from the like the moment i put them in they were incredibly comfortable like way the hell more comfortable than the, than the ones that i had gotten but the problem was is that my eyes weren't adjusting fast enough and i, I couldn't see shit like at all like i was having a hard time like sitting at my computer and reading stuff because my eyes were just all wonky and stuff and she said it takes two weeks for your you know your eyes to adjust to them and then once we get them adjusted then we can f fine tune everything and i was like look i can't do this i said I i've spent three days not being able to see a damn thing i, I can't do that i've got a job i've got shit to do so screw it i already got glasses uh, you know i'll try it some other time this year's that time all right, that was pretty simple and even better than it was last year because she got the new machine that takes a picture of your retina, basically of your eyeball, so that you don't have to get the dilation. And it was only $39 since that stuff isn't covered and they gotta pay for those machines. So whatever, you know, like I don't waste 39 bucks on other dumb shit. So it was pretty cool. And I always think it's really neat to actually see the you know the picture of the inside of your eyeball with all the blood vessels and all that shit so everything looked great fortunately there is a new daily contact lens that has since come out that she's had nothing but positive reviews on from people saying that they love them and what she had put me in last year was a monthly and i had said that i preferred the daily and she said well something just came out so i don't have like a fitter pair of those i'll have to order them and then when they come in you'll have to come back in we'll put them on you wear them for two weeks if everything is good we'll order you know the rest of them blah 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 so now i gotta wait one to two weeks for these damn things to come in then i gotta go back and do all that shit again so basically january and february and possibly march are just filled with medical shit for me like, I'm just, you know, between the dentist, the eye doctor, my family doctor that I have to go in and get taken care of that uh, it's like, eh. And I just keep hearing my dad saying, getting old sucks. Every day it's something new, which is why I'm trying to take care of myself. Now I'm going to go home. I'm going to make my breakfast because I did not make breakfast before I went. Have my breakfast. It's settled in. I've got a lot of day job shit to do. Happy Monday. Let's go do it. It is a bright, chilly Tuesday morning. I'm in this long ass line at Starbucks. And if I may pause for an aside, if you're in a drive through line, pay the hell attention. I can't tell you how many people in this line, long line that splits out two ways with people trying to get in are just sitting there dicking around on their phones or whatever and not paying attention and leaving these huge ass gaps while the rest of us back here are fighting to get into the main line. Rude. It's 337 miles to my first meeting. <laughs> yeah, I've got over five hours of driving just to get to the first meeting. So I'm definitely going to have to stop. I'm probably definitely going to have to stop and pee and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, I'm going to get my food. Oh, okay, kids. It's one o'clock and I still have a smidge over an hour to go. Depends on how fast I drive. I have been driving pretty fast and haven't come across any like weird weather or traffic backups, knock on wood. I have stopped to pee once, and I just now stopped for gas because I had less than a mile worth of driving distance left in the tank, and I also stopped and had lunch. So I'm way ahead of the game as far as taking care of myself goes because you know how normally I don't stop to pee and I don't stop to eat. All right, let's keep driving. It is now Wednesday morning, about 8.45. So I'm on my way to my first meeting. I had a good night's sleep. I didn't sleep enough as usual because I stay up too late when I'm in hotels. But like a lot of it, over half of it was deep. So I'm pretty thankful for that because I needed it because I was beat because it was a long ass day of driving. And it's gonna be a long ass day of driving too. I'm probably not gonna get to my hotel until seven, eight o'clock. 
And the reason for that is that I had to pick a hotel that was further away from the one that I would normally stay at because that one was booked out. Shitty American Express app. But for now, we're almost here. So let's go to the next meeting. First meeting. It's 9.41 Thursday morning and I am on my way home. I had a long ass day yesterday. I didn't even get to the area of the hotel until after seven. And at that point I thought, all right, if I go to the hotel and I carry all my shit up there and, and you know, get myself situated, by the time I go back out and find a place to eat, I'm gonna be eating, it's gonna be like nine o'clock, eight, you know, like eight, nine o'clock. I decided that I was just gonna go right to a restaurant. It's been a typical trip, not a lot going on. The weather's not nearly nice enough for me to venture out. It's been pretty chilly the entire time, or it's been raining. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not gonna grab my cameras and go out and film. Okay, uh, enough boring talk. Let's just keep driving. All right, kids, so Dumb Monkey just stopped and got myself a triple shot two pump vanilla breve latte. I also peed. I also thought that I'm probably not gonna stop for lunch because I'm pretty full from breakfast, but since I've got the per diem to do it, I bought a big ass bag of Madelines. I think I got like six packs of Madelines. They'll be for my tea at night. Here's where I was a dumb monkey. I'm riding on E now. I forgot to get gas. I just didn't even think about it. So now that means I need to stop somewhere. But given that I'm in BFE, North Carolina, that means I'm probably gonna not be able to get gas for a little bit and hope that I've got enough to get to the next gas station. <laughs> okay, so I got gas and instead of the app putting me back on the highway that I was on in the direction that I was going, it has me going in the direction where I went to the incorrect gas station as if that's the way I should have gone all along. I might be getting home later than I think. Okay, so now that I've, I've opened up the map and I've, I've blown it up and I look and see where it's taking me, now I understand why it, it took me off the highway because if I had stayed on the highway, it would, have, it would have taken me further up north and then I would have ended up getting on to the highway that would then take me through the tunnel. <laughs> My favorite tunnel. So this way now I'm, I'm going the back road. So I'm on like a two, two lane road that uh, just, it just takes me through the sticks, and, and that's the way that I came. <laughs> Good morning, all. It's the dumbass devious monkey here. It's Friday morning, a little bit after 11. I'm on my way to the chiropractor. I just filmed for like 10 minutes. I, I blathered on and on about a bunch of dumb shit and uh, looked up and realized that my mic shut off. Oh, that's why it shut off. It's dead. I'm like, what the hell? I know I turned that damn thing on. So that's what I didn't notice. Cause I was like, no, I know I turned that damn thing on. I watched it turn on and then I just wasn't paying attention. It, it turns out it was dead. So that's why it shut off. But yeah, so dumbass, I just talked about a bunch of shit and I'm not gonna rehash that. Cause even at the, at the last minute when I went to, to shut off the recording and that's when I looked up and realized that there was no sound. I was like, this is boring as shit. I'm, you know, whatever. Okay, so before I start blathering like I did before any more than I already have, uh, I'm gonna go to the chiropractor and we're gonna go on errands, so. Like I said before, boring. <laughs> Good morning, all. It's the DV Smokey here. It's Saturday morning, shortly after 9 a.m. It is a, a, just a ugh, dreary day. Okay, the only reason I'm up and out this early on a Saturday is because there was a cancellation at the eye doctor. Thursday, Pearl Vision called me to let me know that they had received my fitter contacts and wanted to set up an appointment for me to come in. And the first available appointment was freaking January 23rd. And I'm like, ah, seriously, that far out? And I'm like, yeah, she's booked. And like, you know, if you want, you know, we can let you know if there's a cancellation. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I'm thinking they're going to call me when, you know, like I'm going to be on the road. So I was like, what a, what a, you know, what a tease to have them come in at like three days after I freaking go for my initial appointment and then make me wait like longer than that just to freaking get them. But they called me yesterday to tell me that there was a cancellation and there's an appointment this morning at 930. So uh, naturally I jumped on that. Hence the monkey's up early on a Saturday and I am on my way to get those contacts. 
Then I'm gonna come home, we're gonna cook breakfast, and I don't see us doing all that much today because it is just so yucky out. Okay, kids, the monkey's excited. I mean, this is a relatively quick appointment like I figured it would be. I mean, all I had to do was put the contacts in and then she just tested the vision. So I've got a 20-day supply. I gotta come back in two weeks. She said, I mean, if it, if it goes as well as it, it is now, you know, we'll just go ahead and finish the prescription out and I'll get you the rest of them. These could be a total winner and I'm freaking stoked because then I don't have to wear freaking glasses. So that's a great way to start my Saturday. Although, uh, ooh, Jesus, as the wind like blows my freaking truck over. Now, I mean, that took literally less than 10 minutes. It's only 9.42 and I'm already on my way back. So go back. We'll make breakfast, watch some Bob's Burgers, and then figure out what I'm going to do today. Let's go make breakfast. Ugh, damn it all, kids. I just came outside because I'm antsy and I need to get outside. And before I came out, I looked out the window and I was like, is that snow? And I looked at the forecast and it said like 1% chance of precipitation. Well, here's your freaking 1%. It's freaking snowing. I don't know if you can see it or not but it's snowing. Boo. Monkey don't like snow at all. Any place that has the word beach in its name should never see snow. I do not feel like sitting inside anymore. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive to three ships and I'm going to drink coffee and just sit there for a little while just for the sake of, of having gotten out. Even though I'm going back inside, I'm going back someplace else. I don't know. It's weird. The monkey brain just doesn't want to be sitting in my office anymore. I spend way the hell too much time there. Okay, so yeah, now that I'm crust fallen driving around in the snow, I mean, it's flurries, but it's enough to sting because I freaking hate it. Um, we're going to go to three ships and drown our misery in coffee. So let's go do that. Okay, kids, it is a brisk 37 degrees and it's still snowing. And now on the little uh, screen here on the Forerunner, it actually shows snow. Again, 1% chance and 1% snow, here we go. <laughs> it's been snowing since I left. Eh. I had a wonderful time just sitting there drinking coffee and watching Instagram stories and shit like that. Plus I had Venture Brothers on. Also, more bean has been gotten. So now I'm heading home and I'm probably gonna have lunch or something because I'm pretty hungry. Oh, breakfast was good, but these days, because I have now stretched my stomach beyond its capacity and it's made me hungry all the time. So I gotta kind of get that under grips like I've been whining about for a while now. I have to find some way to motivate myself because the way I've been doing it hasn't worked because Fatty's just been eating everything that he can get his hands on and getting bigger by the day, so can't wait to see what I weigh in at tomorrow morning. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's no point in me blathering on any more than I already have, as usual. So that's all you get for this week. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.